What's going on, you guys? So today's the last day before the DLC, the expansion pack for Battlestar Galactica Anubis comes out. So they released the uh, last dev diary for it, uh, and I want to kind of check it out to uh, see what we're going to get tomorrow, because today's the 17th. All right, attention on deck. By now, I'm sure you heard all the news. Operation Anubis is coming to all platforms on October 18th. With a new Anubis survival mode, new munitions, new maps, and missions, there's a lot to take in. So today we're going to take uh, take some time to highlight a handful of new skirmish maps and resource missions coming in the DLC. A whole new world. With the new environmental hazards coming in a new Infinity update, launches sometime as Anubis on October 18th, it was a great opportunity to create some new battlefields. There are 11 new skirmish maps that's awesome i i love new maps available to use in the single player skirmish mode multiplayer modes and also featuring during operation anibus some of the new maps will feature our new environmental hazards like the turgid cloud banks of i'm not gonna be able to pronounce that nifermer <laughs> or the breathtaking anomalies of skilla and char -Yibis. This something like that. All right. Others will feature man-made hazards, hazards like the Imperial Error Hedgehog uh, minefields or the satellite-strewn wasteland in aptly named Space Junk. Uh, looking at some of these screenshots, they're absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look how detailed that model is. All right, all right. A kick in the logistics. Also featured in the Anubis DLC are 12 new resource missions. Not only do the resource missions provide new tactical challenges that insight into the lore of the 12 colonies, awesome, but they also offer a host of new rewards and bonuses for a colonial fleet. Do you risk your fleet to save a quorum trade coordinator's nephew? No. <laughs> you might earn a per permanent boost to your income from a grateful colony. Or maybe you get the opportunity to take out a Silentilium refinery which will temporarily slow the FTL cooldowns of all Cylon fleets on the table. Ooh, interesting. Sometimes it can be a choice between bettering your coffers or sabotaging the Cylons for a moment of respite. Wow. We are really excited for you all to discover this new opportunities, big and small, available in Operation Anubis and the Infinity Update. This is our biggest release yet, and can't wait to hear your stories. Till next time, just hold one for one more minute. Home is only a jump away. All right, so I'm assuming this is for that. Wow, nice. You got a nice... Sh oh, wow, okay. Look at that, nice. So basically, this is just basically giving you a heads up of what's coming in this new DLC. So the big things to expect, guys, is I would say the biggest is this new survival mode. Like I mentioned in the previous dev diary, this is going to be an incredible feature. This alone, by itself, not to mention all the new skirmish maps and munition types and all the other good stuff, this by itself, I believe, is going to worth the cost of the DLC. Because honestly, it's going to give you that thing that we've all been kind of lusting over, which is to be basically in charge of the Galactica running from a Cylon fleet, jumping from system to system in hopes of escaping them. Right, because that's basically what the new series was all about, right? In the 2000s. So in this one right here, your command of a single fleet, compromising both military and civilian ships. Your job is basically to flee and survive, you know, and then head back to Caprica. A little different because in the new series you're heading to Earth, so I guess it's just in a different direction. You're going to be hunted just like the Cylons were doing in the series, and jump after jump you will find a reprieve. So um, your resources are limited. Uh, you're going to have to repair your ships and salvage resources after every jump. So guys, honestly, what, I, what this DLC is, is basically allowing you to play the series. In essence, the TV series, you're basically going to be a Dama and you're going to make have to make the tough choices. You're going to have to be put in a Dama's place, right? You're going to have to decide, you know, the crucial aspects of like, for example, if you don't have time uh, for your whole fleet to jump, only, a, you know, only half the fleet of civilian ships is ready to jump and the Cylons just showed up and you only have a few military ships. Do you jump with whatever civilian ships can go or do you try to hold off the Cylons, lose a substantial amount? amount of your military uh, assets you're gonna have to make those tough choices and the question comes down to is can you make it back home and how many will you save so I, I I'm, I'm really motivated about this new aspect of the game because it's gonna add 
what I well we what I and I think a lot of many of you guys are watching this and really interested in uh, Battle Stars to be put in the shoes of Adama in essence. So I'm really motivated for this. I think this is the most important uh, DLC that I've probably purchased in. I would probably have to say in the last few years. This right here is is gonna make this game the next level. It's gonna take it up not only a notch. It's gonna take it up notches. Because this is what we want, allowing you to kind of get a taste of the Battlestar Galactica series in the 2000s during the first Cylon War. So, anyway guys, that does it for this. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then.